Today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to remove and clean the glass window on a heating stove. In this case we're working on a direct vent Napoleon gas stove. You can see all the dirt that's on the glass but you can't rub it off. It's hard to get off but it's also on the inside because this is a sealed chamber and all that dirt is on the inside of the glass so we have to remove the glass door in order to clean it. So let's get started. And of course you want to do all of this when the stove is cold. Now to get the front off there's a small retaining screw. I keep mine loose it comes off very easily and once you get that off you can just lift off the front of the stove and you can see how dirty that glass is. Standard oven cleaner is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for this job. We've also got a glass cooktop stove cleaner. Of course we've got a standard glass spray cleaner but the real hero today is going to be the Meguiar's. We'll get to that in a minute. With a direct vent sealed stove, you're going to have latches. And those latches should be tight and they're holding the glass door in a tight seal against the fire chamber and that's what you want. So we're going to release those latches and you can see now the bottom just pulls away easily and we can just lift the door off the stove. And this thing's filthy. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay the dirty side up. We're going to begin with the oven cleaner. Just shake it up real good. Just work it in a little bit. Make sure you get all the way out to the edges and then it says for a cold surface to leave it on for six hours. You can do that, but you'll probably get most of what you are going to get after an hour or two. And when you wipe it off, you're going to see a lot of the dirt come off. And now we're going to use the glass stovetop cleaner and just rub it in real good. Make sure you get it into the edges, work it in, especially that top part where you've got real stubborn staining and let it dry and once it's dry you can just wipe it off and you can see we're getting a really good clean surface here or at least it appears to be a good surface we'll go ahead and get the rest off with the glass cleaner but when i hold it at an angle you can see there's still a haze on the glass and that's the real stubborn stuff okay and what we're going to do today is i did a test with this mcguire's and I just gave it a little small spot to see what it would do and it worked. But we're not gonna do the entire glass by hand. So I'm just gonna use this small buffer head on a drill. These are very inexpensive, available for automotive, and it just does a fantastic job. And we're gonna hit the top again because the top had most of the hazing. So we're gonna hit that again with the drill. Okay, that's it. Didn't take too long. But watch what happens when we're wiping this off. Look what comes off on the rag. Okay, that's your stubborn film right there. So once we finish cleaning this up, there's no shame in cleaning out the fire pit. So I'm going to vacuum it out real quick. Now we're ready to put the glass door back on. And for direct vent stoves like this, we have a sealed chamber. This this part's fairly important. You've got a lip here that hangs on an edge. Watch it drop all the way down. Okay, and we're still not sealed. You can see that gasket hanging down. The way to tuck that up is you just pull the base of the window away from the bottom and just tuck the gasket up in there while it's loose. And that way when you close it back down, you get a nice tight fit between the gasket and the fire chamber, which is what you want. So now we can latch the left and we can do the right latch and we're ready to put the front back on. And you have to remember the retainer screw and put the top on. And this stove hasn't been run for a while, so we're gonna go ahead and put it in pilot mode. Press and hold that plunger down until gas comes through and now you hit the igniter. And it looks like we got a good pilot light. So just hold that down until it stays lit. Then turn it to the on position. And now we're ready to use the remote. And it looks like we got a real good fire here. We fixed a very dirty glass door. If you found this video helpful, please do remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And to help out anybody else trying to clean one of these, please do share this video. Thanks for watching.